Welcome back to Living in Wait. It was recently National Puppy Day, so in honor of that day, we are talking about puppies in our Animal Kingdom segment. Puppy parenthood can be a challenge at times, but with the help of our friends at Gentle Vets Hawaii Kai, it can be a little easier. So we bring in the doc, Dr. Edlin, and Rosie. Rosie. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> Who is not a puppy, but acts like one. She acts like a puppy. <laughs> you know, one of the problems is, is we don't see enough puppies anymore. Um, and so, scrambling for a puppy, and it's like, well, she acts like a puppy. Yeah, But no, yeah, puppies are few and far between these days. It's, we love them. So, um, once in a while, you can find a puppy at the Humane Society. But where's a good place to, to get a puppy? Um, usually, the best place is somebody that is... Has, has a dog in the family, mm -hmm. has bred it for their purposes, and what, she's a purebred dog. You can get purebreds or mixed breeds, doesn't matter. Um, but you, when you get a, a purebred dog, you'll understand what their personality is going to be. It's golden Retrievers, I get them because they're very, 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 very sweet, and I want ambassador dogs down at the, uh, at the clinic. Mm -hmm. um, and, but you can kind of pick your behavior when you pick a particular type of breed. Um, certain other breeds, um, well, here's a good, good little one right here. Um, this looks like a really sweet puppy, but uh, I, I just saw this recently. Um, but this is what you don't want your... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you don't want coming from your puppy. So behavior is critical when yeah. you select a dog. Okay, I was going to ask you, uh, what, what are some things that you should watch for? Okay, behavior is absolutely critical. Um, number one thing, this, she, she's going to be in her house. She's in her bedroom. I mean, she's in her bed. It's like I don't want an aggressive dog in my bed. So number one thing is you don't want aggressiveness in your dog. Okay. Um, now, when you start uh, looking at particular breed types, and this isn't necessarily purebred, but look at their hips, okay? If you've got a big dog, you better pay attention to their hips. What, what, what's important about the hips? Um, they get hip dysplasia, um, and it's basically severe arthritis of the hips b because the hips are poorly designed okay. in certain dogs. Um, you can test that by looking at mom and dad's hips mm. in, with x-rays, and you can avoid that huge, huge problem. What if it's a big dog, but an active dog, say one that likes to chase balls, is that a problem for hips? Oh, I'm talking about chasing balls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, that's our middle name is ball, a ball, ball. It's a, and absolutely it's a problem, because they're going to be sore, painful. Um, mm. It's an extremely expensive problem, no matter how you deal with it, with either drugs for years and years, or surgery for thousands of dollars. So the best way to avoid the heartbreak is look at mom and dad's hip x-rays. Have, okay. have a veterinarian take x-rays and look at those hips. So, uh, okay, I don't think you're saying then to avoid the dog <clears throat> altogether, but maybe certain activities? Or are you saying no, to No, I would avoid trying to get that puppy. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. it's going to be, if, if you think about it, it's going to be a ten to $20,000 problem over the course of the Ooh, lifespan. Okay. So don't think, okay, well, I'm going to buy this dog for $500 instead of that one for 2000 because I want to save $1,500 and you buy yourself a $15,000 problem. Okay, so what are some of the most important things to do once you get a puppy then? Okay, critically important is socialization. <coughs> um, they've got to get socialized, and okay. that, uh, the, the way to do that is puppy kindergarten. That's why we offer puppy kindergarten to our clients free of charge. It's so critically important. We don't want anybody not coming to kindergarten. Okay. Um, they've got to learn how to behave around other dogs and other people, and that is done between uh, 6 and 16 weeks. Your window closes basically at 16 weeks. There's hardwires going down in the brain up until that point as far as how they're going to behave for the rest of their life. Okay. Um, she, unfortunately, we didn't get her until she's 14 and to get a chance to get her properly socialized. She's still quite dog shy. She's actually afraid of this toy. Um, she's, she's shy of this toy. I can uh, see that her temperament changed real quick when you put yeah, the dog Yeah, she's actually afraid of this toy. It's, al it's almost as if she's submitting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she, she's just afraid of the thing. It's like, whoa, I'm afraid of it because she wasn't properly but socialized. But yet she's not afraid of this one. Uh, she was when I first introduced her to it. Now she realizes it's just a toy. Maybe I can go retrieve it. <laughs> um, uh, some, uh, if anybody has any questions, how can they get a hold of you? or how, what, what can they do? They just come down and visit? Come down and visit or give us a call, 395-2020, 395-2020. Uh, easy to remember. Um, but uh, by all means, come in when you get a puppy. There's a whole bunch of other things we need to talk about. We need to talk about food. Uh, we need to talk about uh, uh, parasite control, mm -hmm. um, behavior. Um, and uh, all the medical care that they may need. Um, certainly would recommend insurance on any dog these days. Yeah. Um, okay. So definitely come in um, and we can uh, get you and also get you set up in, in puppy kindergarten. Like I say, that is the most critical thing. There's actually an interesting thing that happens in old school and in highly uh, diseased areas. We're really worried about their vaccines as mm. puppies, parvo in particular. Um, and so a lot of veterinarians are recommending don't bring your puppy out until he's 16 weeks old. Well, if you wait until he's 16 weeks old, 
he's missed his, his socialization period. Okay. So it's a risk-benefit ratio there, and I definitely do say, you know, go to a safe place, but they need to be socialized before their vaccine series is completed 16 weeks. Doc, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Rosie, thank you so much, and I don't know what the name of this thing is, but thank you. Thank you guys for <laughs> being here. Appreciate Creepy it. pup. <laughs> More information at Gentle Vets Hawaii Kai. All right, coming up on Living It Away, local recording artists Andrew and Jay Molina are busy touring the country, but they've made time to come.